Hello and thanks for watching. In this video the PDI will be moving on to subjects and the beginner's first lesson. He has completed the skills section of the online part 3 driving instructor training course and is now going to learn how to plan and deliver the many subjects we need to cover with our learners. We are following the DVSA's learning to drive syllabus and will be covering the 27 driving skills. Today we will be starting with the beginner's first driving lesson. This is a very complex lesson as it has many topics that need to be covered. So the PDI has asked me to deliver a demonstration, which I'm happy to do so. So we're going to role play this. So the trainer, myself, will be playing the role of the instructor and the PDI will be playing the role of a learner that has never driven before. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with it and I hope you enjoy. You fill that gap. But I'm going to go through the syllabus because they've the DVSA have revised the syllabus into 27 skills. So I'm mindful of that, trying to incorporate that and do it with that in mind. Because we just talked about flour. Yeah. And you were like, oh. <laughs> So there you go. So that will, that will we'll shoehorn that in, into the lesson today. So, um, so yeah, so let's, let's do it. So we've... We've done the eyesight check, license check outside the vehicle. Yep. So we've already done that, so we don't need to do that um, in the car. And we're start. We just start now. Okay. So this is how I'd be with an all learner. So I like being rolled. So, um, all right, Jer Jeremy, how are you feeling today? Nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't need to feel nervous because. I just want you to enjoy it. You're going to learn lots and yeah, you're going to get to drive the car today. So what would be your expectations today? What would you like? Yeah, it's your very first lesson. I know we've spoke on the phone. What are you wanting to get out of today? today? What would you like to achieve? Mm. To be able to move the car. Brilliant. So we'll do that. By the end of the day, you'll be able to move the car and hopefully you can stop it as well. <laughs> That'd be a bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. As figure of your experience. Yes. <laughs> so um so yeah, so we can we get the car moving and stopping. So what we'll do, we're in a bit of a you know, I've obviously picked you up where you work. Yeah. And um it's a bit busy around here, lots of roundabouts. So we're gonna just get you to a quiet area just to um so we can go okay. through the controls and get you moving and stopping. Okay, sound yeah. like a plan? Yeah. So when we drive there, I could show you a few little bits and bobs that you'll be doing today with the controls. Yeah. Um, and so that will sort of help you when we get there. So a quick, quick question for you. Um, I've obviously got three pedals down here. Well, not obviously, it might not be obviously. I've got three pedals down there. <laughs> so do you know what those pedals are? Um. Like starting from the right, moving to the left, do you know what I've got on the right side? Accelerator. That's it, yeah. And what does that one do? Uh, to make the car go. That's it, yes. We've got that's our go pedal. And what about the one in the middle? Um, brake. That's it. And do you know which foot I'd use to do that? Would I use the right foot or the left foot, do you think? Or does it matter? Um, I would say the right. But Correct. That's it. So yeah. with, the, with the, the gas, or we we'll call it gas, yeah. it's just easier, the go pedal. Yeah. So gas pedal, I'll use my right foot and just pivot my foot between the two. So the right foot is where we're going or we're stopping. Yeah. And on the left, the other pedal, do you know what that one's the called? Clutch. That's it. it, the clutch. And do you know what that one does? Um, something to do with the gears. Something to do with the gears. That's exactly right. So, um, so I'll push the clutch down when I need to change gears. Right. Basically. So if I said to you, do you know what the biting point is? Do you know... Anything about that? Um, no. Okay, so I won't get too technical with you because I just want you to know, understand what it does, what its function is, so that when you're using it, you kind of get an understanding of how to use it, if that right. makes sense. Yep. So, um, so imagine two plates. Yep. One plate is joined, connected to the engine. Yep. So when the engine's on, this plate will turn, and the other plate. It's connected to the wheels. So when the engines turn, and if you put the two together, yeah, that will turn the wheels. Uh, 
and it's used in conjunction with the gears. So when I put the clutch down, I'm actually separating these two plates. Yeah. So if I put oh, it down, okay. I've just, just prized these plates apart. Yeah. And then actually, let me just use these little cards. Imagine these cards were gears, like gear one. Yeah. Imagine these were little cogs. Yeah. So they're gear one, gear two, gear three, so on. So if I give you those, those. Yeah. So in order for me to put a gear in there, what would I have to do to the clutch to make it open? Um, would you <coughs> press the clutch? Yeah, if I press it down, that opens. Ah, so it opens. So now that the, now it's open, you could put a gear in. So if you put gear one in yeah. there. Oh. Okay, so imagine the engine's running. Yeah. But the car's not going anywhere because it's, it's not connected to the wheels yet. So when I bring the clutch up, yeah. and I do that slowly, and there'll be a point where the plates connect and it's just rubbing on that gear. So, it's, so they, that's why they call it the biting point. So it's just biting right. on that gear. Yeah. And the car kind of wants to go now. It's kind of like, you're, you're hearing them. I'll demonstrate that to you. So the car's like ready to go. Yeah. And if I continue to bring the clutch all the way up, that will join up properly. Oh, okay. And make a connection and the, um, the car will move. Right. So if I want to change gear, you've got a first gear in there, yeah. and it's connected. You've got the blue card, let's say that's second <laughs> gear. What would you have to do to you know, throw, in, throw in gear throw three? Away. Don't yeah. worry about gear three, we won't need it. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting that We far. just need one and two today, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> well, you never know, we might need it later, but you know. So, um, so if you want to put gear two in there, what would you need to do? Press the clutch again. So it's you open up. Yeah. And you take, just think of it like, take your, what you'd do, you'd take gear one out first. Yeah. And then you'd put gear two in. Ah. So think of it as two separate things. Take the gear out. Yeah. And you run it through like neutral. Yeah. And then you put the gear, next gear in. And then once your new gear's in, what are you going to do with the clutch? Come back up the clutch yeah. again and slowly. And good slow. Slow. What, do you know what would happen if you did it quickly? Um. Will it, would it just go in quicker or? Yeah, jump. Jump. Because what you do is like bring those plates together quickly. Yeah. And so you'd it'd like get a little bounce. Ah. Uh, and if you were stationary, the car could stall. Do you know what stalling is? What that means? Um, is that when it just comes to just stop? Yeah, have you seen a car do like the kangaroo? Yes. What's happening there? Someone's brought the clutch up too quick and the, the plates are bouncing. Ah, oh, right. The car's jump, jump, jump. Or, or the engine will just stall. The engine will say, well, I can't do this. Yeah. And it will just stop the engine. So then the whole car stops. Right. And doesn't come around. Okay. So um, so that's the biting point. And yeah. Stalling. So if I take the cards back, <laughs> I'll put them up there. And while we're talking about the pedals, you might notice you've got a couple of pedals down there. Yeah. So they're for me when I'm teaching. So there for your safety so when you're driving i can always keep you safe i could always stop okay. the car if i needed to so just be mindful that they're there and just don't press them <laughs> okay. all right yes yep. they will work, they work. <laughs> okay so but you can keep your feet under them because when i put the pedals down they won't squish your feet oh okay or anything okay yeah any questions so far no should we get going yeah so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, yeah, as a driver, I'm just checking that oh, you've got your seatbelt on yeah. and that your door's shut. So I'll always do that just to make sure that we don't get driving off and everything's legal and safe. Okay, so um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start the engine. So before I start the engine, yeah, I'm going to do two more safety checks. I'm going to check the because we've been playing with this gear stick. If you give that a wiggle, yeah, can you notice if you just move that forwards and now wiggle it? See how much more yeah. play there is. That's in neutral, so that's sitting right. on that end there. Yeah, and it's got the full play. If you put it in a gear and wiggle it now, feel the difference. Yeah, that's in gear. So what do you think would happen if I started the car in gear with the clutch up? It sort of yeah, yeah. It lurched forwards. Oh right. And the thing stopping it would be the handbrake. Yeah. Now you you said your parents have both got cars. Yeah. Have you noticed where the handbrake is on their car? Is it? 
Yeah, it's normally in there. Yeah. yeah. This is a little bit different this car. We've got a button in it, it's over here. Right. Okay. Okay. So before I just start I start the engine, I check the handbrake's on so it can't jump anywhere, it yeah. can't roll anywhere, and that the gear's in neutral. Gears in neutral. So once I've done that, I'm gonna press my button. Yep. The stop start button. I'm gonna press that once. And you'll notice some lights come on. Yep. And I'm just checking if there's any warning lights left on. And now if I try and press it again, it says depress clutch pedal. Oh, okay. So this car will need the clutch down in order to start. So if I put the clutch down, so yeah. we already checked this out again. If I press the button now, all those warning lights come off. Yeah. Apart from that red one with the paint on it. Do you know what that one would be for? Um. No. That's the part. Right. Or handbrake. Oh, handbrake. Right. Normally there. Probably got it here. <laughs> okay. So that's the only warning light that should be on at this minute. Yep. So if someone had a door open. I oh, I see. It. Yeah. So um. So what we're going to do, let's just quickly show you this biting point. So if I put the clutch down, notice the engine's re running. So if I press yeah. the gas, the engine just revs. Yeah. But we don't move anywhere. No. Because we're not. Oh, I see. Here. If I put the clutch down and now put it in the first gear, I'm yeah. going to bring the clutch up to the bite, and I'm going to do that slowly. Just tell me when you hear the note of the engine change. Just so I'm going to do that slowly and just listen. Yeah. Feel that? Yeah. And if you look at the front of the car, look what's happening. Yeah, it's, it's going up, isn't it? So there's that there, that's fine. Uh, oh, okay. The only thing stopping us moving when I do that is the handbrake. The handbrake. So if I just take the handbrake off. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that little noise? Yes. Little yeah. Hydraulic, like a little brake noise? Yeah. So now the handbrake's off. If I just get the bite point now, the car just creeps. Oh, it's moving. See that? Yeah. So that's just those plates are just rubbing, so that's the right point. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put the handbrake back on. Hear it? Yep. Lights come back on. <laughs> so I'm going to move off. So I, I put it in gear, I get the bite, I set a little bit of gas. Right. Have a little look round, and if it's safe, I release the handbrake. And slowly bring the clutch up. And I'm doing that slowly, slowly, slowly yep. with the clutch. So we move off nice and smooth and gentle. Like yeah, that. okay. And if I press the gas, we'll obviously go a little bit quicker. Oh. If I come off the gas pedal, yeah. we slow down a little bit. Yeah. So if I say to you, come off the gas, the car will just slow down. Okay. Sometimes we just call that engine braking. Yeah. As the car just slows down, just using the gear to slow down. So if I, if I just come, or deacceleration, so if I come off the gas, the car just slows. Okay, yeah. If I want to use the brakes, I'll just cover the brake and just gently press the brakes. Like when I say gently, I'm, imagine a millimetre worth of pressure, just a little bit. Right. If I press them hard, let us stop. Yeah. Suddenly, which we don't want to do. No. <laughs> Not good for your passengers. No. Not good if someone's behind. No. When we press the brake, yeah. Okay. When we press the brake, do you know what warning we give off to the vehicles behind when we start to gently press the brake? Um, is there lights at the back of the car? That's it, we can show our brake lines. So a little bit of gentle pressure on the brake pedal, we just show the brake lines. Right. Without stopping. So they come on, like you touch the brakes and yeah, they Yeah, just the slightest bit of pressure ah, okay. onto the brakes and the brake lights come on. So we can sometimes use that just to warn people that we're slowing. Yeah. Yeah. What I would just like to show you on the way, so we're only going to go 
short distance. There's a little bit about steering. Right. So when, if you notice where my hands are when I steer, I just got a nice, a nice light grip on the steering wheel. Yeah. With my thumbs up and outside the rim, rather than having my thumbs wrapped around. So we're just holding the steering wheel nice and light with our fingers just wrapped around. Yeah. Normally the 10 to 2 or quarter to 3 position. And that's what we do when we're just going in a straight line. When we want to turn, notice what I do at this little roundabout. Look at my hands now. My left, my right hand's going to come to the top and pull down. Oh, okay. Push up. So I pull, then I pushed. So you pull the steering rack. That's it. So if I wanted to go left, my yeah. left hand would come to the top and pull. Right. And the other hand would push up if I needed a little bit more steering. Okay. And funny enough, we call that method of steering pull and push. <laughs> so we pull first. Yep. And then push. And push second. If we need to. Right. Then sometimes we don't need the push because just a little pull is enough to go around the corner. Yeah. So now I've stopped. I've put my foot on the brake. I put my clutch down. And I'm going to put the handbrake on. Right. And so now I could take it out of gear. If I take it out of gear, I can bring that clutch off and the engine doesn't stall. Right, okay. So I can rest both feet now because I've got the oh, handbrake see, on, yeah. gear's in neutral. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get ready to go now because I think the light's going to show. So I'm going to put the clutch down. Yeah. I'm going to put it in first and I'm going to get the bite. So you can feel that. Yeah. So I'm just ready. So the car's like ready to go. So those plates are rubbing. I don't want to let them rub too long because like, like anything friction wise that would heat up. Yeah. So I'm just going to go a little bit below the bite there. Right, okay, yeah. So it's just like, so we're not rubbing those plates. Because they like, like the, after a while they would heat up and they'd smell a little bit. Yeah. Like burning rubber. Yeah, yeah. So that would be <coughs> not good for your car no. like, wear it, where you clutch out. So, um, so, but, you know, when I'm sort of getting ready to move, I just get, I'm just going to come to the bite, and you can feel that there. Yeah. And then I'll be ready, that, yeah. ready to go. So, uh, so well, you'll be doing that in a minute. You'll be sort of feeling that bite point, etc. Mm. You can see why I didn't want you to let, let you drive here. You yeah. have to do all the roundabouts <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. traffic lights. And we'll know what to do there. So I talked a little bit about the steering. Yeah. I'm going to be turning left soon, so I'm going to I'm going to show you some bad steering. Okay. But I'm only going to do it if it's safe to do so. So let me just show you what we want to try and avoid with steering. So I've got my hands at the normal position here. Yeah. And this time I'm not going to pull push. I'm going to go around the corner and just move my hands like that. Oh and now right. Now I've crossed my hands and it's yeah. difficult to steer. Yeah. So we want to try and avoid that. That's what we call like a fixed grip. Okay. And it means that as we go around the corner, my arms get tied in a knot. And if the bend was sharp, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have to let go of the steering wheel yeah. to try and steer some more. Right. So that's why we use that oh, okay. full push method. So that uh, avoids my arms getting tied up. Tied up. Yeah. yeah, does that make sense? Yes. So when we go around corners, we use a pull and a push. Right. I'm just going to hold back and let that bus come through. And what we're going to do, we've got a nice long straight road here. Yeah. So when I get to the top of that hill, we're going to pull up and get you in the driver's seat. So we're going to start on a nice bit of flat ground. I won't start you off on a hill for your yeah. first one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll start on flat ground. So now I want to talk through stopping. I'm going to check my mirrors. Yeah. I'm going to put a signal on, let people know. So I mirror signal, and then I manoeuvre. Are you going to brake gently? Put the clutch down. I'm going to move towards the curb. Just keep gently pressing those brakes until we come to a stop. And you keep your foot on the clutch. That's it. So I brake, so I put the clutch down to protect the car from stalling. Right. So I've stopped. Yep. Now before I can rest my feet, what would I need? 
if I can rest my brake foot, what would I need to do? Put the handbrake. And how do I do that? Yeah, a little button over here. Right. Yeah. And how do you know it's on? Is there a light? Yeah, that light just came yeah. on. And we can hear it. And you can, and you can feel it on your foot. The brake just goes, sort of goes down as oh, okay. when you do that. So that's the brake on. And before I can rest the clutch foot, what would I need to do? Take it out of gear. That's it, so I'm taking it out of gear. And how do I know it's in neutral? Because it's it's gone. It's That's it, yeah, it moves all the, the, the plays yeah. all the way along there. It's, so it's through the middle. So I can rest my left foot now. Yeah. And then I've got my signal on, so how would I turn my signal off? Mm. Do you know where my signals are? That's it, we're just backing that off. Yep. And now I can relax. And I'm going to turn the engine off by pressing the button. Right. Just once there. And we're here. Mm. And we are here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do in a second, we're going to get you in this seat. Yep. We're going to get you set up and go through the cockpit drill, and then we're going to get you having a cut moving off and stopping okay. down this road. But just before we get out, just a couple of little safety checks we would do. So um, before you get out of the car, what 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 um, would you need to do? One's quite obvious. Well, it might not be. <laughs> yeah. Take the seatbelt off yeah. so you can move, yeah. So we'll take the seatbelts off. And to make sure it's safe, what safety checks would you make before you open that door? Um, would you look out of the window or? That's it. So you have a look, and how would you do that? How would you look out the window? Are you gonna like, look over your shoulder, look in the mirror, or, um, or both? Well. Both, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, if I said to you, do you know where the blind spot of the car is, or the blind spots? Where would you? Where would they be? Um, do you think? Is it that pillar? That's it. So, if you look down the mirror there, you get a kind of view, but there's a bit over your shoulder that's just missing that the mirror's not going to see. Yeah. Out of view of the mirror, and what could be in that area? Someone walking, or yeah, and especially on this side, oh, yeah, get more danger on this side, yeah. on the road side. So, yeah, so, um, what we use is something called, um, have you heard of the Dutch Reach when we get out of the car? No, okay, let me just explain. <coughs> so, when you get out of the car, the Dutch Reach serves two purposes. What we're going to use is the opposite hand, the hand furthest from the door, right, to reach over and grab the handle, okay. And what that does is Remind us just to twist and turn to look over that shoulder oh, okay. to look into our blind spot. So yeah. you check your mirror, and your blind spot. So we twist there, and the other hand is just used to release the catch to open the door. So if it was a windy day, you've got you've got both hands on, on the, the door, door to hold it. Yeah. So it doesn't just blow in a gust of wind. Oh, okay. So it's like so it's for safety that it reminds you to look, and it holds the door so the door don't paint open. Yeah. So what I'd like to do in a minute. If you can just check it's safe, and if you could use the Dutch range, right. and once once it's safe, get out and just sort of wait at the back of the car on a footpath. Okay. All right, and I'll meet you around there. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, okay. whenever it's safe, you jump out. So you like that? That's it, perfect. That's it, and I'm going to do the same. Right, so first things first, now you've got in the car, Yeah. now you're in the driving seat, you just want to make a couple of checks, now you're in that driving seat. Do you remember the checks that I made earlier when I was in the car, just to make sure it's safe? Um, the handbrake is on. That's it. And the and car is turned that. off. That's it. So handbrake's on and, and gears in neutral. Gears in neutral. <laughs> Two good things just to do when you first get in the car, just think there's handbrake on, gears in neutral, so we can't run yep. anywhere. Good. Brilliant. So what we're going to do first is go through getting you set up and go through the cockpit drill. Right. So I'm just going to use a little visual aid just to 
help you remember some of the things we're going to be looking at today. Okay. And you can have a copy of these. Oh, okay. okay. So um, there we go. Look, copper drill. So what we've got, if you, if we're going to go through a little routine. Yeah. So we've got the cockpit drill, and we go through doors first. Yeah. Then we're going to sort our seat out, steering wheel, seat belts, and then mirrors last. So it's got we've got this routine of D three S's and an M. Okay. And shuffle less M. Yeah. So first things first. How do you know if your doors are shut? Um. Well, you, you just kind of naturally just looked over there. So yeah, that's, so you, that's interesting. So if you look in the mirror, you can see us sort of level down the side. That's it, and you could use the same in mine as yeah. are the doors shut. No, yeah. is that light on as well? Yeah. So good, so you're well <laughs> spotted. So the door doesn't look quite flush, does it? No. So if I give it all, you can yeah. tell. So I'm going to shut the door properly this time. And you can hear that it's yep. shut. So the doors are shut. Then we're going to move on to the seat to make sure that you're in the correct seat position. Okay. First things first, we want to make sure we can reach those pedals. The clutch being the one with the furthest reach, we want to make sure that that one's nice and Yep. You want to be the correct distance from the clutch so you've got that good control. So when it comes to using the bike point, you're nice and steady. Right. And you can reach it without sort of yeah. hovering and nearly stretching or anything. So what I'd like to do with your left foot, if you put the clutch all the way to the floor, yeah. with your right hand just hold the steering wheel. And then with your left hand, just under your left knee, there's a little lever. So you just reach down there. Yeah. And then if you hold that, pull that lever up, up that yep. releases and now with, with your right hand pull yourself in so you've got a slight bend in your knee while the clutch pedal is fully depressed oh, right. and you just want a slight bend in your knee happy yep so if you bring that clutch up and then just put the clutch back down again so you just when you set your seat up you just want a slight bend in that knee. just a slight bend okay yep if later on do you feel a bit uncomfortable, we can always readjust the seat. We pull up, let me know, and we can readjust. Yep. So it's difficult to get it right at first time because you've never driven before. Right. So you don't quite know how that should feel yet. Right. But the bend in the knee is where we want to start. Okay. So um, next thing on the seat, we've we've got you near the pedals. The next thing you want to do is adjust the rake of the seat. Do you know what the rake is? No. It's. It's the upright bit of the seat. Oh. See if I move my seat, the sort of back moves. Oh, what you mean? Recline it or move forwards. Yeah. And the best way to have that set is so you can reach the steering wheel. You know, I was holding it like that. I had a nice little bend in my elbows. Yeah. The best way to know if that's in the correct position is just to extend your arms out straight and your wrists should just touch the top of the steering wheel without having to reach forwards. Yeah. So if that's right, your that seat is in the correct position. Yep. Just means you you've got a full oh, okay. reach. So when yeah. you're doing your pull push, you're not having to lean forwards to get it. So then you're in the best position. Yep. So that's your rake sorted out. Next thing on the seat we need to adjust is the head restraints. Now the, in this car they're fixed. Oh, oh but yeah. Um, in most cars, have you seen them out there? Yeah, they, the there's pins. a little button there, just yeah. up and down. So do you know what the head uh, restraint is for what purpose that serves? Um, rather than resting your head, is it to stop it? Yes, for really safety. Good. Yeah, it, if you were in a collision, that will protect your neck from injury. So, when when we set that up, if you just like draw a line from your eyes to the back of the headrest, like that, the the middle of the headrest should sit in the middle of your head, oh, so see. your head's fully supported. Yeah, brilliant. We won't adjust that, because no. we can't. <laughs> okay. So, there is a height adjustment on this seat. If you you can you know, move up or down to get a better elevation. Good way to judge it. Your eyes want to be like in the middle of the windscreen. So you don't want to be sat right up too tall, or you don't want to be too low, just yeah. so you can hardly see with the dashboard. So, do you feel comfortable with that? Yeah. Great. So that's our seat done. So now let's move on to the next S. So we've done our seat, steering wheel. That steering wheel is adjustable. Um, but as long as you can see the dials through the, the, the gap in the middle, that'll be fine. But 
if ever that's hitting your knees, if maybe I've had a pupil in with that's moved it, oh, you can okay. you can adjust it. So just so you know that will right. adjust. Okay. <coughs> and then we get to the next S. C belts. So um so whose responsibility is it to wear have seat belts? Is it the driver's responsibility to make sure the driver and the passengers have got the seat belts? Or would it be the passengers responsible for themselves, do you think? Um, would it be the driver? Would be the driver up to a certain age. Oh, okay. So, do you know what the age is? No, 16, 12, 14. 14. So, if you've got any younger brothers or sisters? Yeah. yeah. So, if they're under the age of 14, 13, yeah. then be you, legally your responsibility. Your responsibility. Once they're over, then they're responsible for themselves. Right. But as a driver, what yeah. would be the best policy? Make sure they're wearing them. Yeah, just make sure everyone's got yeah. to see that one. So uh, that includes people in the back. So, oh, right. So, so we better do that, then. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So seatbelts on. And then finally, we get to the end. Mirrors. So the yeah. mirrors. So we just need to set up your centre mirror first. So I'm just going to quickly show you a little picture. Can you see that right? Yeah. 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 I'm not blind anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So basically with the rear view mirror you just want to be framing the back window. So you right. get the best view. So you see the bit of the window wiper, a little bit of the headrest there. Yeah. So if you adjust that, so you, you frame the back window. That's a boat. Yeah, so I've got yeah. headrests in both corners. Yeah, feel, feel free if you need to move it. No, I can't. That is all right. That is good. Fine. Yeah, brilliant. And then we door mirrors. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What you want to see there is adjust your door mirrors so you can see a little bit of the side of the car. Yeah, about a thumb's worth worth. And then notice in this picture we've got like half road, half sky. Oh right, yeah. Okay. So, to adjust your door mirrors, they're yeah. electric, and the control is on your door. Yeah. There, that's it. Yeah. So you see, there's two little pictures of door mirrors. One on the left, one on yeah. the right. If you press the one on the right first, does the button light up? Does no. it? No. Okay. So what we need is some power. Oh right. So what I'd like you to do is just press the stop start button once. Yeah. And now if you press that right button, you should get a light. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you just use the D-pad to get your view. Just turn the radio down. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. And then to just the left door mirror, what would you need to do with that button? Would you press that one for the left? That's it, good. Happy days. And then same. So how much of the side of the car did you see? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. And how much road, how much sky? 50-50. Like Perfect. Good. So those all set? Yep. Now we will, in like future lessons, go more into the mirrors and the use of mirrors and the types of glass etc. Actually I will just mention the types of glass just quickly just because that will be important today. So if you look in your centre mirror is there a parked car that you can see anywhere? There isn't is there? No, There's there literally nothing. No. So what I'm going to have to do is rely on my pictures. So let me just um, <coughs> when I took this picture see the blue car parked behind the car there? Yes. In view there. The same car in the door mirror looks like that. So mm. out of those two views which mirror's making the car look nearer? Um, that one. It is in the centre mirror. Yeah. So the centre mirror is, is giving us a true picture. Okay. That's how far the car really is. Yeah. Away from us. So what does the door mirror do to that car? Makes it look further away. It does. Do you know why they've done that? No. So they put this, this is convex glass to right. make things look further away than it really is. Okay. So can you think of a benefit of making it look further? Um, why, why, what's the benefit of sh making it all shrink? 
Does it give you more? Yes. You can see more. You get a wider field of vision. Yeah. So you can see more. You get more value for money in that when you say, this mirror lies to you. So mm -hmm. you can see more in it, a wider yeah. field of vision. But the, the disadvantage is it's kind of lying to you. It's, yeah. It could be deceptive. So what could be a possible problem if you relied on that mirror to judge that the distance of that blue car? You'd think he was further away than he was. Yeah. So you think, oh, he's a long way he's, away. Yeah. I can get going, mm. but actually, he's he's actually quite he's, he's quite quite close. Quite, isn't yeah. it? It's like yeah, yeah, a lot closer than you think. So that's just uh, something to be mindful of when you're using right. your mirrors, and that, that's why we use our mirrors in pairs. So we're going to like if you were oh, going okay. right, you'd check your centre mirror, right mirror, yep. as well. Okay. Good, alright, so that's a little bit about our mirrors. We will expand on that in future lessons. There's a bit more to learn about your mirrors. But what we want to do is get you moving. Right. Get you get you moving off and stopping. Yeah. So just bear with me, my little Right there we go, let's get the right correct picture there. So what we're gonna do in a minute is get you, in fact, before we get you moving, let's just get you to have a feel about the, these controls. Get you to feel the bike point, okay. etc. So what I'd like you to do is, if you could, just again, just to get in the habit of checking the handbrakes on, the gears in neutral, because in a minute we're yeah. gonna start the engine. So the hand the light is on, so that the light is on. Yeah, and the gear is in neutral. It's in neutral. Yeah. So what I want you to do is press the stop-start button again one more time, and all the warning lights come on. Yeah. So there is there is something I'll give you a handout on this later. When we the safety checks when we start before we start the engine, we go through a little system called Flower. Okay. So before you drive the car, if I, I'll show you on this little visual aid we're going to use flour and basically what it stands for is we've got enough fuel right that the lights of the car work yeah we have enough oil we've got enough water the electrics are working so that's your warning lights and with the rubber half a rubber that the tire tire we All will right. go back into that more detail but do we just kind of do a little flour check um each time we start before we drive the car yeah okay so what I'd like to do now is to start the engine, is if you could put the clutch all the way to the floor and yeah. press the stop start button just once. Oh, imagine. And if you press the little black button on the right side of the steer, oh no, sorry, to get rid of that, oh, okay. that <laughs> message. So the engine's starting, because it's in neutral, you can rest your left foot. Right. Okay, so let's have yeah. a go at finding this bike point. Okay. So what I'd like to do is put your clutch down, select first gear, that's it, towards me and up. Yeah. And now with your left foot, very slowly release it till you hear the note of the engine change. When you hear that, keep your foot still. Oh, there. Yeah. Keep coming. The car won't go anywhere because the handbrake's on. Right. Keep coming. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. Come up a little bit more until you see the front of the car start to bob down. Yeah. Feel that? Yeah. Yeah. So if you put the clutch all the way down to the floor and just find the bite point for me. So just come up to the bite and then keep your foot still. Yeah. That's it. And try that again. Clutch all the way down and just try and find that bite point a little bit quicker this time. Now you know where it is. Down. Yeah. And then keep it still. Yeah. Brilliant. Clutch down, take it out of gear. And there you can rest that left foot. So if right. I say to you, find the bite point, that's what you're going to do. You're going right, to get your okay. left foot to that point. Yep. As quickly as you can and hold okay. it still. Yeah. Brilliant. Good. With your right foot, just cover the gas for me and just give it a little bit of gas. Press it about the width of a pound coin. Yeah. As you do that, notice the rev count on the right side comes up. So if you set the gas so that the needle goes between the one and the two. A little bit more. There. Right there. So yeah. you can hear that lively hum. Yeah. So if I say set the gas, that's how that's much you mean. Press the, 
press that pedal about the width of the pound coin. Right, okay. And it, this is what it will sound like. Yeah. And then if you come off the gas, and with your right foot, just cover your brake, but don't press it. So yeah. So you're just covering it. And now press the brake about a millimetre, and that will show the brake lights. You won't know that, but they are. Oh, okay. You're just touching that lightly. And then when we come to a stop, we just press the brake pedal, another width, like width of a pound coin. Yeah until the car gently comes to a stop. So we just do it incrementally, gently, 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 until the car stops. Right. But you, you have to keep your foot, you have to keep going down on the brake. Yeah, just start gently, gently, gently. 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 Like, just imagine like increments of a millimetre, let's say, slightly, slightly, right. slightly. But we're gonna go through that in a minute and get you, get you to stop. Yep. So there are the pedals, you've had a little press. Okay. And what we're gonna do now is get you to move off and stop. Right. So let me just quickly show you one more thing and then we're going to get you going. Yeah. So when we move off, we're going to use, can you see that okay? Yeah. We're going to use a little routine called POM. Right. Which stands for, we prepare yep. the car, then we observe, and if it's safe, we, we move. move. Okay. So to prepare the car, what we're going to do I'll talk you through this in a moment. Okay. You're going to put the clutch down, yep. put it in gear, find your bite point. So your left foot's got the bite, Yeah. your right foot's going to set the gas. Okay. And you're going to keep those feet still. Right. Your left hand will be on the handbrake, normally be there, but yep. you've got it on the other side. And your right hand will be on the steering wheel. Okay. So now you are prepared. Every limb's got a job, you're like <laughs> ready. Okay. Right. Then we're going to observe. Yep. So we're going to take effective observations. So what I'd like you to do is you'll you check the centre mirror and right mirror. If you have a look in those nails, tell me, is it, would it be safe to go now? If we were prepared, would it be safe to go now? Yes. Okay, so good. That's your initial check. Yep. And then what we want to do now is just check in those blind spots to make sure there's not a couple of kids on their bikes coming around. So you check your left shoulder first, there. Yep. Just go around the car like a horseshoe and finish over your right shoulder. Okay. So you check your mirrors first, and if that's if it looks safe, then check. Quick look around your shoulders. Yeah. Make sure there's no one in, hidden in the blind spots, and that's your observations done. Yep. And if we're happy with that, I'll ask you: Is it safe? Yeah. And if it's safe, we go for the move. So the handbrake comes down. Right. And the left foot clutch pedal comes up slowly, and the car starts to move, and you steer away from the car. Right. We could use a signal, yeah. someone would benefit. So how, if you were to put a signal on, can you remember how to do that? Um, that one? I said you don't need to do it because we might confuse someone. Yeah. In fact, just put a left signal on just to make sure you're happy using it. We won't confuse anyone if we put a left yeah. signal there. Okay. So right would be up. Right, okay. And then we'd be moving. Yeah. And we're going to move a short distance and then we're going to try and stop. Because we want to know how to stop, don't we? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to use the, the other little routine I mentioned earlier, MSM. Can okay. you remember what that stood for? Um, Don't yeah. worry. Mirrors. Mirrors. So because we're going to be moving to the left, we've got a mirror, mirror. Yeah. Signal, down. Yeah. And then we're going to position near the curb. Okay. And then with your right foot, you're going to gently, you're going to right foot cover the brake, left yeah. foot cover the clutch. Right. Then I'll say to you, gently brake. So just press it about a millimetre, two millimetres. And then you'll need to put the clutch down before we stop. Okay. Continue to brake until we come to a complete stop. And you'll take, put the handbrake on, take it out of gear, and then you'll relax your feet. Right. Okay. I know there's a lot of information there. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any questions? Would you like to have a go? Yes. How much help would you like? Would you like me to, I can give you a talk through? Yeah. Uh, for your first one? Yeah, I think I might need that. Yeah, just to guide you through yeah, it. Yeah, I think I might. Because it's the yeah. first go. And then we'll get you doing this, and then after a few goes, you'll be having a go on your own. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, right, what we're going to do first is prepare. Yeah. So, left foot clutch all the way to the floor. Select first gear. Left yep. foot, find the bite, and keep your foot still. 
Right foot, normally we would set the gas, but if you're doing this car, the handbrake will come off. So just cover the gas. Right, yeah. You don't need to have your hand on the handbrake because it will release itself. Okay. So you can have both hands on the steering wheel and you are prepared now. Yep. The car's ready. Now we're going to observe. So if you look ahead, set the mirror and right mirror and tell me, is it safe? Yes. If it's safe, do your blind spot checks from left to right. Yep. Still safe. Yep. Set the gas. That will release the handbrake for you. Yep. Just do your checks again. Yep. All the way around. Yep. Right shoulder. Ooh, yeah. That'll be mm -hmm. safe. Slowly bring the clutch up and steer slightly away from the curve. That's it. And by now the clutch should be fully up. Yep. Good job. We're going to go around the, the parked car. So okay. what I'd like you to do is check your centre mirror. Yeah. And check your right mirror and just tell me, is anyone trying to overtake us? No. Is it safe? Yes. Steer around the parked car. Parking. That's it. Good. So you're giving it a little bit more gas. Beautiful. And we're going to pull up on the left in a safe place. So okay. check your centre mirror. Check your left mirror. Yeah. Put your left signal on. And now with your right foot, just cover the brake but don't press it yet. Yeah. And left foot cover the clutch. Yeah. Okay, good. Now steer towards the curb, a little bit towards me, that's enough, straighten up. Clutch all the way to the floor. Yeah. And gently press the brakes. Yeah. Until oh, we come that, to yeah. a complete stop. Keep your feet still. Yeah. Put your handbrake on. Push it down. Oh, push it down. Or oh, a fill down. Or that? Then, yeah. And now, what do you need to do with the gear? Take it out of gear. So. And then cancel the signal. And now you can rest your feet. And relax. <laughs> Good job. So, I've got a little question for you. Yeah. Just We want, just want to check have you parked near the curb? Because that we can help you with that. So, right. if you. How would you know if you parked near the curb? Uh, Where would you look? Can you see in that would you mirror? Look in that mirror, you can yeah. see. The, I can see the curb there. Yeah. That's it. So I'm just going to open my door. So the gap from the curb, you're about that far. Yeah. So less than a foot. Yeah. Less than a drain width, curb, about that far, which is great. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you can tell by looking at that curb that you look fairly close to it. Yeah. Which is a good, that's a good position. Right. So what I want you to do now is I want to give you some kind of reference point, because I helped you with the steering there. Yeah. So I didn't want you obviously to hit the curb. Right. I didn't want you to park too far from it. So if you look at the curb now, where does the curb intersect with your dashboard? Uh, I'm just going to take my seatbelt. If you just press the stop start button for me. I'm just going to take my seatbelt off because I'm going to. I can help with this. It's sort so, of, you can see it coming up the bonnet. Yeah. Not quite halfway, but. So, what I want to do is give you some kind of visual marker. Yeah. So you can reference that. So you can bring it in yourself next time okay. and put it near the curb without touching the curb or parking too far. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my little marker pen. Right. So you just sit in your normal driving position. Yeah. Because I'm gonna put a little dot on the windscreen to help you judge. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna guess here is miles from the curb. Yeah. But if I move this way, I'm gonna get warmer. Yeah, yeah you're getting warmer. Just keep telling me when I get warmer, warm. Warmer, warmer. Like right there. There? A little bit further in, there. There? Yeah. Put a little dot? Yeah. Are you happy with the dot? Is that dot on top of the curb? Yeah, on this, this edge of the curb. Yeah, yeah, I can move it if you want, if you if I've put it in the wrong spot. Actually, come a little bit, it's a little bit further over. A little bit that way? Yeah. There? Yeah, right there. Put a nice big hole in. Big splodge, like a bug's hit it. <laughs> so I'm going to rub the other dot off. Yeah. So that little splodge is on your curb. Right, okay. So you could use that, couldn't you? Yeah. Next time we pull up, use your little dot and line it up with the curb and then you, know, you won't need me to say left a bit, right a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to have another go? Yeah. Yeah. Now, how much help would you want this time? I can still give you a talk through. 